Chief Minister Manohar Parikar on Sunday attended Jan Suraksha Yatra at Trivandrum in Kerala to protest against the political killings in Kerala and West Bengal. Bharatiya Janata Party in Goa will hold a yatra in the state on October 16 at 4 p.m. at Panaji, where around 1,000 BJP workers are expected to participate in the rally. The Delhi Congress is receiving huge response for its Rath Yatra, which it is carrying out against the Metro Fair Hike as part of the Stop Politics Safe Metro campaign. This Rath Yatra is proving a boon for Congress as it has received the support of the general people. In the recent past, Congress lost its vote bank and had to face humiliating defeat. There is a possibility that the success of this campaign would definitely increase its vote bank. Delhi Congress Chief Ajay Makin, who is leading the Rath Yatra, said that Congress wanted to expose the blame game drama of Mr. Kedriwal's Delhi government and the BJP ruled central government on the Metro Fair Hike issue. India has called for urgent revision of the quota of International Monetary Fund in favor of dynamic emerging markets so as to reflect the ground realities of the world. Addressing the annual meetings of the IMF and the World Bank, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley hopes that this can be accomplished as part of the 15th General Review of Quotas. Three people have been arrested on Sunday in connection with the attack in Faidabad on an auto rickshaw driver and his friends by a group of cow vigilants over suspicion that they were carrying beef. Those arrested have been identified as locals Lakhan, Dilip and Ramkumar, say the police official, adding that they were being questioned at the office of the Assistant Commissioner of Police in Mujisa.